Hello and welcome to the Be Knowledge Share. In this episode, we will cover this first um, area under the underlying competencies, which is section 9.1, analytical thinking and problem solving. So without further ado, let's get started. Analytical thinking and problem solving skills are required for business analysts to analyze problems and opportunities effectively, identifying which changes may deliver the most value and work with stakeholders to understand the impact of these changes. Business analysts use analytical thinking by rapidly assimilating various types of information, for example, diagrams, stakeholder concerns, customer feedback, schematics, user guides, and spreadsheets, and identifying which are relevant. Business analysts should be able to quickly choose effective and adaptable methods to learn and analyze the media, audiences, problem types, and environments as each is encountered. Now, there are a couple of um, the core competencies included as part of analytical thinking and problem solving. They are creative thinking, decision making, learning, problem solving, systems thinking, conceptual thinking, and visual thinking. Now let's break these down um, separately. What is creative thinking? Creative thinking is basically uh, thinking creatively and helping others to apply creative thinking, which helps business analysts to be effective in generating new ideas, approaches, and alternatives to problem solving and opportunities. Creative thinking involves generating new ideas and concepts as well as finding new or different associations between existing ideas and concepts. It helps overcome rigid approaches to problem solving by questioning conventional approaches and encouraging new ideas and innovations that are appropriate to the situation. Creative thinking may involve combining, changing, and reapplying existing concepts or ideas. Business analysts can be effective in promoting creative thinking in others by identifying and proposing alternatives and by asking questions and challenging assumptions. Now, many times as a business analyst, you may encounter uh, situations where everyone's thinking just strictly of a solution a certain way. And you may have a different perspective because you as a business analyst have a better understanding of different concepts or have researched the, um, the requirements and know the connections between different requirements. So this involves being having some sort of creative thinking to come up with optional options uh, to solutions. The third is effectiveness measures is um, measures of effective creative thinking include generating and productively considering new ideas, exploring concepts and ideas that are new, exploring changes to existing concepts and ideas, generating creatively for self and others, and applying new ideas to resolving existing problems. Second core competency under analytical thinking and problem solving is decision making. Decision making um, enables a business analyst to be effective in understanding the criteria involved in making a decision and in assisting others to make better decisions. Similar to creative thinking, you as a business analyst are in a unique position to assist your stakeholders in kind of presenting options to maybe solutions as an example and guiding them in making those decisions. You yourself as a business analyst wouldn't make those decisions, but you would assist them in making decisions, meaning stakeholders or any sort of um, folks involved in the project. Uh, business analysts document decisions and the rationale supporting those decisions to use them as a reference and in the event a similar decision is required in the future or if they are required to explain why a decision was made. So as a business analyst, you're kind of responsible for documenting decisions. Um, sometimes you can use tools like Confluence or other simple word processing tools to document decisions. However, um, you document it, you know, it's, it's, it, the key is to document those decisions. Effectiveness measures is the appropriate stakeholders are represented in the decision-making process. Stakeholders understand the decision-making process and the rationale behind the decision. The pros and cons of all available options are clearly communicated to stakeholders, and the decision reduces or eliminates uncertainty and any remaining uncertainty is accepted. The third core competency is learning. The purpose behind learning is the ability to quickly absorb new and different types of information and also modify and adapt 
uh, existing knowledge allows business analysts to work effectively in rapidly changing and evolving environments. Definition is learning is a process of gaining knowledge and, or skills. Learning about a domain passes through a set of stages from initial acquisition and learning of raw facts through comprehension of their meaning to applying the knowledge in day-to-day -day work and finally analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Business analysts must be able to describe the level of understanding of the business domain and be capable of applying that level of understanding to determine which analysis activities need to be performed in a given situation. Learning is important because many times as, as business analysts, or if you are in that kind of skill set role where you're required to use your business analysis skills, you're put into different domains sometimes. In that case, there's different stages of learning. And it's important to understand that there is a ramp up time to learn these um, core concepts to build upon the core concepts. So understanding the whole learning cycle is important so that you are aware that um, this is the stage that you're in so that you don't kind of feel defeated that you're not grasping concepts right away, right? So learning techniques to consider include, you could be a visual learner. Um, for instance, you could learn through presentations, photographs, or simply by taking visual notes. Uh, auditory, some people are very auditory, meaning they listen to maybe audio books or some sort of um, recording to get an understanding of what is going on. Uh, kinesthetic is learning by doing. Uh, most people experience faster learning by doing, or you could have a combination of being visual, kinesthetic, or, or um, auditory. So there's, as I said, understanding these different techniques and what works well for you is important. Uh, effectiveness measures are understanding the learning is a process for all stakeholders, learning the concepts presented and then demonstrating an understanding of them demonstrating the ability to apply concepts to new areas of relationships, rapidly absorbing new facts, ideas, concepts, and opinions, and effectively presenting new facts, ideas, concepts, and opinions to others. There are n number of articles and videos out there on learning techniques. Um, there's a Feynman technique that folks use. Um, there's so many techniques that you can leverage in order to better help you understand concepts. So this one is an important uh, core competency. Problem solving. Uh, business analysts define and solve problems in order to ensure that the real underlying root cause of the problem is understood by all stakeholders and that the solution options address that root cause. Defining a problem involves ensuring that the nature of the problem and any underlying issues are clearly understood by all stakeholders. Stakeholders' uh, points of view are articulated and address to understand any conflicts between the goals and objectives of different groups of stakeholders. Assumptions are identified and validated. The objectives that will be met once the problem is solved are clearly specified and alternative solutions are considered and possibly developed. Effectiveness measures of problem solving include confidence of the participants in the problem solving process, selected solutions meet the defined objectives and solve the root cause of the problem, new solution options can be evaluated effectively using the problem-solving framework, and the problem-solving process avoids making decisions based on unvalidated assumptions, preconceived notions, or other traps that may cause a suboptimal solution to be selected. Many times we may have heard of situations where folks get in, they get very emotional about certain requirements, solutions, and the decisions or the they don't get into the root cause of the problem. They just jump to solutioning. So there's several techniques you can use. One that stands out is the fishbone technique where you can get down to the root cause, categorize those problems um, and kind of establish, hey, that these are kind of the root causes of a problem or several problems. So problem solving and understanding how to problem solve is, is, is and one of the core um, underlying competencies. Um, systems thinking. Well, systems thinking helps um, understand how the people, processes, and technology within an organization interact, uh, which allows business analysts to understand the enterprise from a holistic point of view. Uh, systems theory and systems thinking suggest that a systems as a whole 
has properties, behaviors, and characteristics that emerge from the interaction of the components of that system. These factors are not predictable from an understanding of the components alone. For example, just because a BA knows that a customer may return an item they purchased doesn't give the business analyst the full picture. The analyst must analyze the impact the return has on such items such as inventory, finance, and store clock training. In the context of systems theory, the term systems includes the people involved, the interactions between them, the external forces affecting their behavior, and all other relevant elements and factors. So when you think about systems thinking, uh, a good example is when a change comes in from a, a business perspective based on their need, you need to understand, well, what are the downstream and the upstream impacts to that change? Understand the changes holistically. Sometimes that's hard to do because you as a BA, you don't have the tools to do that. Um, but sometimes it's interesting as you start off as a BA, it's key to kind of interact with people that work with these systems and kind of you tap into those people to understand well, what are the upstream and downstream impacts. Effectiveness measures are communicating how a change to a component affects the system as a whole, communicating how a change to a system affects the environment it is in, and communicating how systems adapt to internal and or external pressure and changes. The next one is conceptual thinking. Business analysts routinely receive large amounts of detailed and potentially dis, uh, separate information. They apply conceptual thinking skills to find ways to understand how that information fits into a larger picture and what details are important and to connect seemingly abstract information. It's, it's different in systems thinking because it's about understanding the linkages between context, solutions, needs, changes, stakeholders, and value abstractly and in the big picture. Now, systems thinking was more so in terms of understanding the linkages from an upstream and downstream systems perspective. Conceptual thinking is more so in terms of, all right, so within a specific context, what are the changes that we're looking to implement? and understanding those nuances and connecting the dots, if you will. Effectiveness measures for this would be confirming, uh, connecting the disparate information and acting to better understand the relationship, confirming the confidence and understanding of the concept being communicated with the stakeholders, formulating abstract concepts using a combination of information and uncertainty, and drawing on past experiences to understand the situation. Visual thinking. The ability to communicate complex concepts and models into understandable visual representations allows business analysts to engage stakeholders and help them understand the concepts being presented. Visual thinking skills allow BAs to create graphical presentations of the concepts or systems being discussed. The goal of these graphical representations is to allow stakeholders to easily understand the concepts being presented and then provide input. Some of the effectiveness measures are complex information is communicated in a visual model, which is understandable by stakeholders. Visuals allow for comparisons, pattern finding, and idea mapping with participants. Productivity increases due to increased learning, quick memory, and follow through form from effective visuals. Stakeholders are engaged at a deeper level than with the text alone and stakeholders understand critical information which may have been missed if presented in textual content alone. So sometimes it's just a matter of maybe not even opening up tools. Um, there's plenty of tools out there, but maybe simply drawing a simple um, diagram on a piece of paper, maybe taking a, a photo of that and then using that to present your thought behind uh, maybe a relationship between two systems a relationship between the reports. Um, so essentially, visual thinking is, is a good way to get your idea across to your stakeholders. So this was the, the last core concept in the problem solving and analytical thinking. Let's just summarize this quickly. Uh, one is uh, 
analytical thinking problems solving skills are required for BAs to analyze problems and opportunities effectively, identify which changes may deliver the most value, and work with stakeholders to understand the impact of these changes. There are six core competencies, which are creative thinking, thinking out of the box, decision making, as aiding your stakeholders in making those decisions and documenting those decisions, learning. We spoke about the different types of learnings. Uh, there's the visual, there's auditory, and then there's uh, kinesthetic, meaning learning by doing. There's the problem solving, there's systems thinking, there's conceptual thinking, meaning thinking contextually, big picture, and visual thinking, maybe drawing uh, diagrams to get your point across. So that's the end of this section under underlying competencies. Uh, please do subscribe to this channel and support this channel, uh, as well as visit our website called beknowledgeshare.com. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you 